You can support the channel on Patreon or being a YouTube member. Check out links in the description or click join. Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Kaiju, and more. It's Steven's Toy Reviews. Hello collectors, Steven here, and I am back with another Vinyl Kaiju review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the second entry in the Childhood Kaiju Figure Series by Nojer. I'm going to go ahead with that if I pronounced it wrong. Please let me know. Uh, Nojer Chen, and that is going to be Ginora. Ginora. First we had Nozilla, now we have Ginora here, and uh, if you can't tell, it's, it's, it's playing off of King Ghidorah. With this one, it kind of looks like we have an athletic getup here. Is this supposed to be the gym teacher who's making fun of poor little Nozilla? Maybe, I don't know, or maybe it's just the high school or the grade school bully. We got the volleyball there, and we even have a little, I don't know, what's that supposed to be, a toy of Nozilla? I don't know, but here's what I do know. This does look pretty fun, and uh, it's another entry in what is going to looking like to be, anyway, a cool series. So, let's take a look to see whether or not it's worth adding into your collection. Much like Nozilla before it, Ginora here actually has a pretty neat box. So it's not exactly on blister card where you kind of peel it off and you have a cardboard back. It's kind of a clamshell hybrid, but it is a very, very nicely presented package here. On the back, we have neat promotional artwork and on the front of the box, well, package here anyway, we have the ability to see everything that we're going to be getting here. Do take note, this is rather bulky in design, and when I got mine, it actually just came wrapped in bubble wrap. Nozilla, by contrast, actually came in a white box with bubble wrap around it. So, yeah, just keep in mind, this is going to be a pretty th thick package with extra C's. I do have one sort of issue with this figure universally that uh, you're going to see right away here, and that is that it depends on the tail to stand up. And as you'll see in the articulation section, the tail is rather loose. The reason for that is at least it looks this way on my unit. The right leg is longer than the left, and it's not by a whole lot. It's by just a little bit, and the figure is a little back heavy, so it is naturally going to want to lean on the tail. That doesn't necessarily fall so much into looks, but this does affect the figure overall because those tails, I think I said tail earlier, those tails are going to get weaker, and we don't want the vinyl to warp and or tear and or snap over time, so... Maybe if you're going to get this, look into a little piece of plastic from a blister or something that you had that you are willing to sacrifice to prop this up just so this way that does not happen because otherwise this, this actually looks pretty good. It's pretty fun. If you recall from Nozilla, there was actually sort of a brownish black wash that was found for the uniform of the figure and we do have that carried over here, which is pretty cool. So it doesn't look like it's just a white uniform of any kind or just white sneakers. So Ghidora here, we have three heads for Ghidorah. Now, guess what? This isn't just Kaiju here. I misspoke at the beginning because this is going to appeal to Dragon Ball fans as well. We have Trunks, we have Vegeta, and we have Goku, and there are Super Saiyan forms here for the heads of Ginora. That, not gonna lie, is pretty cool. I actually do like that. It's a very, very awesome throwback, and it actually does remind me of my childhood a bit because Godzilla, Dragon Ball, Pokemon, and more. <clears throat> anyway. Very neat here. I do sort of wish there was a little bit more of a variance for how they looked. Maybe a little bit more of a defined smirk for, let's say, the Vegeta head. Because, I mean, as we all know, Vegeta is going to be the person who's going to uh, insult Cell and then immediately get pounded in. But anyway, they do look very nice for what they are. Ghidorah for the actual kaiju portion of Ghidorah, let's go ahead and say it. The gold is a very dark gold, not like we've seen on other Ghidorah figures before, and I actually do really appreciate that. I think this would have looked very nice for the King of the Monsters Monster Arts Ghidorah, so that's something to definitely keep in mind. And the wash isn't anything too over the top for the actual scales to bring those out. Those actually do look very nice. And then we do have the wings on the back, those look great as well, and then of course the tails that I made mention of. 
I actually do look pretty cool. I will say, though, that normally Ghidorah is known to sort of have like barbed tips, which is not the case here. We do also have three tails instead of two, normal for Ghidorah, but I'm just pointing out details, not complaining about anything. Overall, I do say that this does look pretty, pretty good. No uh, real issues in the looks department, but like I said before, don't like the fact that it has a little bit of trouble standing. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and move right on over to the accessories because we're going to go ahead and move into a different sort of articulation section for this one. So for here, we get a volleyball that kind of reminds me of Wilson. We get a little statue of Nozilla, and then we get three trading cards. Let's go ahead and look at those trading cards. We get Trunks at level 10. We get Vegeta at level 15 and Goku at level 27. So we go 10 increased by five and then more than 10. So it does look like Trunks is by far the weakest here. So yeah, yeah. On the back, um, well, yeah, kind of all the same. And I will say that these are made of a very thin cardboard, sort of a very thick paper, almost like cardstock. I could have just said that to begin with. But what I will say is that I am concerned for people losing these, and there is tape that is used to hold these in place. I do hope that for those that are looking to hold onto this mint and sealed box over time, that that tape doesn't rip off any of the details when they go to remove that tape. So just something to keep in mind, because I have unfortunately had that happen to me before with some other figures. I don't want that to happen to you. So when you get this, maybe try to open it sooner rather than later, if you are in fact going to open it up. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at that little statue, that sort of idol for Nozilla here. It's all green, not a whole lot of details, but considering the size, that's not an issue. It does have some issues standing, however, because it seems like the feet are sculpted in a way where they're at an angle and then it just likes to tip over. However, you can get it to stand up and it does have a hole in the bottom of it. What that hole is meant to be for, maybe a support stand of some kind. I don't quite know, but um, eh, it is what it is. Can he hold it? We'll take a look at that in a second. Finally, we get the uh, Wilson Volleyball. I'm going to make a comment about not knowing what that symbol is, but then people in the comments will say that I should know something about King Ghidorah being summoned, and I don't know, but yes. We get a nice red fiery symbol there, which is reminiscent of King Ghidorah and a comet and all that good stuff, but yes, reminds me of Wilson, the Volleyball. There is a seam line, so for those of you who hate seam lines, go crazy. Now for the articulation here, Ginora has three swivels at the neck. However, I was only able to get the trunks and Vegeta head to swivel at the base. Goku's, I was not because even the outer two, those were actually stuck and I can't get my fingers in there for Goku's to turn it. So I'm not even going to bother. I don't even know why I would want to turn that head in the first place, but hey, it's there. We do have swivels at the shoulders on both of the arms, and then the right wrist swivels as well. We'll take a look at that in a second because there is a reason why. But they should have done that for the left hand as well. For the legs, they are going to swivel right underneath the cut for the shorts, and I did try to get a waist swivel out of this, but I didn't happen to get that at all. The wings, they don't move. They sort of wiggle back and forth, and like I said, the tails are a little loose, but they don't actually have points of articulation. Now, for the accessories, Ganora here can actually hold two of them. The volleyball does hold in the hand, as I showed you before in the intro section. Uh, the trading cards, nope, they're not able to be held at all. But the little idol for Nozilla, uh, not in the right hand. That's not going to happen. Well, it can if you're very careful with balancing, but realistically speaking, it's going to be in the left hand with Nozilla facing Ganora. So, yeah. Yeah. What I will say, though, for those trading cards, definitely, if you have a Yu-Gi-Oh figure, like one of the Figmas, yeah, yeah, that, that would be pretty fun. Which, by the way, if you like the Egyptian god models from Mattel, stick around. You're going to like those later this month. Now, we'll go ahead on and move over to a size comparison so you can see just how big this or these guys, because we got three Saiyans here, uh, these guys... <laughs> Are. And uh, surprisingly, five and a half, six inches here. Yeah, pretty bulky. I like it. So buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. If you like Nozilla, this is obviously your next purchase here. So get on it. 
Yep, it goes perfectly well with the childhood kaiju mentality, and having these two on the shelf is pretty cool. The only thing that I will say is I do wish that the accessories were a bit more user-friendly for this release, and unfortunately, they're not. And because of that, I got to dock it a few points. But otherwise, it looks cool, and if you're a fan of Dragon Ball and you like Godzilla, this is obviously a no brainer. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me. I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So, to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now, the end card should be popping up which will give you a few clickable links like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my patreon or some short urls like to my social media or to my teespring store there's also a video i hand selected for you so if you want to watch another str video i hand selected some good content for you to watch so definitely check out that video thank you again so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video